um hello guys okay today we are doing the very first chapter of medicine 5 which is uh limit so this chapter i believe it falls under our differentiation okay so we'll be so we have to first discuss the basic uh limit which we did in the end for limits okay so for example let's say i have uh a limit of determine a limit x approaches two of x squared minus four over x okay let me start with an easy one okay but because i already wrote it let me leave it there that's number one but let's start with this one limit x approaches one of x squared x squared plus one then that's the first one this means uh if you have a limit you are you want to find out what the value is as your x approaches one so what you're going to do is you are going to substitute one straight in your in your expression there so i'll have one squared plus one which is two that's my answer when you write answer you don't put the limit anymore because you already substituted so now with this one if you first uh pay attention if i substitute two at the bottom even at the top i'll have two squared which is four minus four over two minus two i'll have zero at the top and zero at the bottom which is undefined if i have zero at the bottom it's undefined but we know x squared minus four is difference of two squares so we can write it as x minus two x plus two then we can see this cancels this and we are left with limit x approaches two x plus two you substitute two your answer is four I hope you see that so that's your limits but but this is more like n4 in n3 now it's 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 more it's a little bit advanced but it's still the same principle and everything so now we'll be dealing so now we have to know what happens if i have undefined and i can't uh, simplify it to give me a better expression to just substitute for for example this one we did here we said if we substitute we get zero at the top we get zero at the bottom we have to understand or what we can do if we have situation like that okay but first i want us to discuss uh what infinity means remember if i talk about infinity i refer to this symbol some of some of you call it lazy eight or sleeping eight so infinity means uh a big number right it means your numbers are increasing until infinity for example if i have if i'm counting numbers i'm saying one two three four five i can just say up to infinity because i don't know where i'm gonna end right but then now how do you express it or how are we going to express it in this course if i have let's say two exponent infinity what does it mean this the answer for two exponent infinity it's, it's infinite because if you want to check it it means substitute any number on infinity and keep on increasing it for example if i substitute 2 exponent 1 i get 2 2 exponent 2 it's 4 2 exponent 3 it's 8 2 exponent 4 it's what 64 am i uh it's 16 so then 2 exponent 5 32 64 do you see these numbers keep on increasing which means they are reaching uh infinite you see so any number exponent infinite it's infinite then now what about this one two exponent negative infinity this is zero 
because 2 exponent negative infinity is the same as 1 over 2 exponent positive infinity. And what do we know about this? It's 1 over infinity. And infinity is a big number. If you say 1 over a big number, it's 0. You can try it out. If you say 1 over 2, you increase it, you get 0 0.5. If you say 1 over 20, you increase it, you get 0 point something, but less than 5. 1 over 20, you get 0 0.05. 1 over 200, you get 0 0.005. You see, your number is getting closer to zero. Closer, closer to zero. So that's why 1 over infinity is zero. This is very important when we, when we deal with our infinities there. So anything exponent infinity is zero. And another thing, another important one. Uh, zero over infinity. What's your answer? It's zero. We know zero over anything is zero. And we know any number over infinity is still zero because we are this is what we just spoke about here and another thing if i have infinity over any number the answer is infinity because this number is constant but the number at the top keeps on increasing you see the answer is zero then last one if i have infinity over zero the answer is infinity. Infinity over zero is undefined. Remember, if you divide everything, anything with zero, it's, you get undefined. So remember that undefined is the same as infinity. It means it's a big number. This one is very important. You'll be doing it a lot. If I substitute uh, tan 45, tan 90, we know tan 90 is undefined. You don't write undefined, you write infinity. Okay, let's get going. Now, we have a rule called L'Hopital rule. So, if I go back, so this is how L'Hopital rule will work. First of all, I want you to make sure you have a fraction. That's number one. Number two, forms. You need these forms to apply L'Hopital rule. If you have zero over zero or infinity over infinity, then you apply L'Hopital rule. L'Hopital rule is you derive top expression. and bottom expression separately. I'll show you. We'll do the first example. Remember the first example, we have a limit x2, we have x squared minus 4. I don't know if you remember the answer. The answer we got 4. So let's do it. The first thing every time, first thing every time before L'Hopital, which is here, Substitute your limit. Because sometimes you don't need to do L'Hopital. Substitute your limit value. So let's say, so the first thing I'm going to do is substitute. But when you substitute, you don't put equal sign. You just substitute. I substitute only the top part alone. If I substitute at the top, I'll have 4 minus 4, which is 0. Substitute at the bottom, I have 2 minus 2, which is 0. Then now, if it's 0 over 0, is it one of these two forms? Yes. You don't put equal sign. You put a bracket. Then you write L'Hopital, which means I have to apply L'Hopital rule. Then the next step, your limit doesn't change. Now, L'Hopital rule, what does it mean? What does it say? You derive the top expression alone then you derive the bottom expression alone so if i derive x squared minus 4 i'm getting 2x if i derive x minus 1 i'm getting 1 do you see my answer is 2x so now now you will repeat the same thing again substitute if i substitute 2 i'm getting 4 over 1 so now i got an answer so my answer is 4 i don't have to write the limit anymore i hope this is this is clear. I hope this is clear. 
that's number one let's do number two okay i'm trying to let's use this one okay so limit x approaches zero i have x over sine x so first thing substitute zero i have zero at the top at the bottom sine of zero it's zero if it's zero over zero it means it's slope it down so now second step what do we do we derive derive x i get one derive sine you get cos so now what do we do substitute again at the top it's one so there's nothing to substitute now substitute cos zero cos zero is one so you can see one over one it's one that's your answer then you see just like that but we'll do more examples let's do the one for infinity over infinity okay guys let's see uh, the ones we are given here i have this question paper next to me so we have number one we have limit x approaches one we have sine x minus one over x squared plus x minus two determine that limit three marks so the first thing remember first thing substitute your one so we okay before you write equal sign you must write your answers first so if i substitute one i'll have sine of zero at the top sine of zero it's zero if i substitute one at the bottom i'll have one plus one minus two which is zero so do you know remember your forms zero over zero and infinity over infinity it means we must apply Lopita. Then now we go to next step. We derive. Lopital means we must derive top part alone. If you derive sine, you get cos x minus 1. If you derive the bottom part, you get 2x plus 1. So now substitute again. What is cos of 1 minus 1? Cos of 0 is 1. Here at the bottom, 2 plus 1 is 3. So your answer is 1 over 3. Just like that. Now the second one. Limit x approaches infinity. Then we have x sine 1 over x. Remember the first thing I said make sure you have a fraction on the previous slide. Make sure you have a fraction. This is not a fraction, right? But we can change it to a fraction. You see that we can take sine to be 1 over cosec or we take x to be 1 over x at the bottom so we can change this as just make sure you have a fraction we can change we can leave sign here but we can take x to the bottom which is 1 over x because it was only x at the top so now let's substitute what is sine 1 over what is 1 over infinity i said 1 over big number is 0 so which means this is sine of 0, which is 0. 1 over infinity is 0. So this is 0 over 0. Do you see this is uh, your, your rule? Then next step, which means you must derive. Derive sine, you get cos 1 over x. But, but this is chain rule. You must also derive 1 over x, which is minus 1 over x squared. We know 1 over x is the same as this one. If you derive it, you get minus this minus 2 which is minus 1 over x squared then you derive that one at the bottom also which is the same one you see what happens these two will cancel exactly the same now you are left with only cos 1 over x substitute 1 over infinite 1 over infinity is 0 so cos of 0 is 1 that's your answer then you're yeah, done yeah i'll, I'll do uh, only a few examples you guys should just go go on and do as much examples as you can thank you don't forget if you have any questions you can email me or leave uh, your comment comment under the comment section thank you goodbye